Hello, welcome back to Little Codex. Today I'm going to show you my Kodak Reflex twin lens uh, camera. This is a true um, twin lens reflex camera, which means that it had um, two lenses. This one was for the film and this one was for the viewfinder. Uh, this camera was uh, made from 1946 to 1949. Um, it's uh, one of Kodak's very first um, TLR cameras. They had a couple different ones, but uh, this guy was the first one. Um, it used uh, Kodak 620 film, which uh, you push these two little levers in and it releases the back. So you can see here, it says uh, use Kodak 620 film. The film, you would uh, drop this uh, roll of film here, it would come across um, and you would take it to the take up spool here on this side. And you can see there's the lens down inside there um, where it would take your pictures. Uh, it uh, is a 80 millimeter uh, f3.5 lenses on here. So you can kind of see that there. Says that, and they were synced up. So it has one little groove here missing, which prevents it from spinning indefinitely and unscrewing itself. So as it comes around on this side, you can see that little missing tooth on the top gear stops that. It goes anywhere from a 3.5 to a 22 um, aperture. And for the shutter speed, it goes from uh, 200 down to two seconds. It also has bulb and timer. Um, the neat thing about this is the shutter. In order to use the shutter, this is the little shutter release here. You have to push it up, which cocks it, and then you push it down to release it. I want to leave this open so you can see the, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm opening and closing the aperture there. Push it one more time for timer and it closes that up. Uh, the viewfinder on this guy is this button here and it pops the viewfinder up and as you see that's the viewfinder and that's where you would focus your lens to uh, what you're seeing in there uh, so this would be waist level if you wanted to put your eye right down on it it also has a little magnifier so you can get right down in there and uh, get your picture nice and sharp. It also has a uh, little coaxial connection here for uh, for a flash if you wanted to have a flash on there. All right, so um, there's a little window back here, so you could see your film number as it slides across, like other 620 and 120 film cameras. A little Kodak. Um, red window. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to take off the top and I'm going to show you inside this camera and uh, show you the little uh, mirror inside there um, if you need to clean yours. There's two screws on the uh, on the badge here. We're going to take those guys off. They are super tiny. And then the badge will just lift right off. And now you can see there's two flathead screws there. We're gonna take those guys out now. Right. Now 
those two little guys out. So this should allow us to lift our viewfinder out. So you can see those are the two flathead screws that we just had and the whole viewfinder mechanism just comes right off. And inside here you can see there's the, uh, the viewing glass there. It has a little piece of metal on the top. So it has a larger groove here on this side, which goes towards those screws. And then it has a smaller um, piece that goes uh, right where this release mechanism is. So we'll put this guy aside. And our viewing glass looks pretty good. Um, I've seen other versions of this where the glass goes all the way to the corners and sometimes the glass, um, the corners of it will break, um, but uh, your little cover here covers that up so you never see that. This is a frosted glass. And now you can see inside to the mirror. So that mirror is uh, slanted right along here. You look down inside with your eyes and it takes the light here, bounces it right up. So there's the mirror. And uh, you can see there's some dust on there. Um, so if you wanted to just blow that out um, you could do that. I'm just going to take a little cotton swab here and get some of that dust off of there. Be real gentle with this. All right, I am going to go grab um, a, uh, a little cleaning cloth. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got a little air blower and a little microfiber um, towel here. So that actually did a really great job to get that, uh, a lot of that dust off. Now what I'll do is Take a couple Q-tips and I'm gonna wrap them with my microfiber cloth. And I am going to clean this mirror. It actually had some dust on it from just residue from over the years where it got in through the little cracks. And while I'm in there, I'll Hit the inside of that lens too. All right, that's all I'm going to do to that lens. You can see uh, the glass, uh, the mirror, I should say. You can see that that mirror is looking very nice and clean now. So that took a lot of the little speckles that were in there that fallen in over the years. Um, one other thing I'm going to do <clears throat> with this glass is it's a little bit dirty here. So I am going to take a little bit of glass cleaner and a cotton swab. And I'm just going to go over the glass. I'm being real careful not to break or scratch it. I'll take 
my microfiber cloth and get that too. And the bottom side is frosted. So I'm just gently going to hit that with the microfiber. I'm not going to put anything on there or rub it in any kind of harsh way because I don't want to scratch it or mess that up. All right, so that's that. This glass is pretty clean. You can see the reflection there in my lights. And we'll go ahead and reassemble just in the uh, opposite order. So there's the glass, the frosted side is down. The nice shiny side is up. Next thing we do is we put our little tension plate there. And then we are going to put our viewfinder back in. So you put the back in first, and then it uh, has two little um, uh, tabs that go in, and then the front will just slide right down. At this point, I can close it back up. And then I'm gonna put my two flathead screws back in. Magnetic tip helps. Screw him back on. All right. And we are going to get our Kodak Reflex badge. And these guys are tiny little Phillips head screws. And that's it, that's the uh, Kodak Reflex 620 film camera from 1946 to 1949. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it gave you some insight onto uh, how to clean that viewfinder mirror, um, since it's not uh, quite as obvious on the outside on how to take that apart. Um, please like and subscribe my video. It really helps out our channel. And until next time, have a great day.